hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i want to say a big thank you to everyone for liking and subscribing to this channel in this tutorial video i'm going to be showing you how to make ama piano beats using samples so i've chopped out some samples from some ama piano beats just to create a new ama piano beat so i'm going to be showing you how you can use samples from other music to create ama piano beat if you need these samples just go down on the description below you can download it for free without wasting much time let's get into this i'm gonna launch my logic pro this beat So I make this beat using some samples, then I have to play some keys on top to give it my own kind of vibe. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this, this kind of beats using samples. So you can change the feel by infusing some new melody line, some bass line, just to give it your own kind of music and make the music yours. So I'm gonna be showing you from the top how I made this. Let's just clear this area. I've already imported the loops that I use or that I chop off into my Apple library sound. So if you wanna do that, let me just show you how you can import your sound into your Apple library. On this sound, for example, you right click. Here you can choose Add to Loop Library. So now you can choose where you want the loop or the sound to be saved into. If it's keyboard, for example, or if, if it's a synth sound. So you can select whichever place you want to save it and you go to create so now it's under mallets uh yeah you can just let's just make it ama piano hyper sweep so then you create so once you go to your library you type ama piano hyper sweep you find it there so now you can drag it in to your workflow and it's going to create a new track that is how to import a, a sound into your library uh let's go back to the lesson so i'm going to start with the kick i've already labeled them i'm a piano kick so it's gonna be this Right to here. Going to loop it. I'm going to bring in my pack drum. So, gonna drag it here. And note, when you are creating AMA piano beats, you need to take note of the BPM or the tempo. I'm going to be using 114 BPM. Yeah. So, I'm going to add this. So, uh, if you notice in AMA piano beats or sound, you always hear, hear this ghost part. So, 
so we're going to drag it here and solo Just to the way the beat is going, you can feel the vibe already. You can feel the Amarcano vibe, like the rhythm. So what you have to do is now add your own keys and all that, just to give it that feel that your I, another violation i'm going to just quickly lay out my keys and everything then i'll come back to show you all right i've added my other instrument keys so to give it my own vibe so i'll be soloing everything that i've added on on the beats so that you can see what I did. So I added a snare, a snare drum. So on this snare drum, this is what I did. I created a bass sound. If you check my previous tutorial video, I talked about how to make Ama Piano bass sound. If you don't know how to make the Ama Piano big sound. If you don't know how to make Ama Piano bass sound, which is the log bass on Logic, you can go back to my previous tutorial on how to make Ama Piano bass. I've created a log bass. So after that, I added a synth. So on this synth is called Cosmic Strings Bright. So I added a marimba kind of sound from my sampler and and hogan so from there i added uh here so i added a sound from african kids Put in a sax sound just to give me that pam, 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 to support the to support the cosmic strings bright. So all together, this is how it sounds with the beat. So from the beginning, let's hear how it goes.
All right, all right. This is just a quick way of making ama piano beats using samples from other music. All the sounds that I use on this particular tutorial, I'm going to leave the link where you can download it on the description below. Thank you for visiting my channel. If you like this video and if this video is helpful to you, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of this kind of tutorial. Thank you.